All right, coming up next is the UFC Heavyweight Showdown. All right, well, I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kicks. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arms with high kick after high kick after high kick. And then as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. All right, so here he is, the undefeated Israel Adesanya, his crowning achievement, at least to this point in time, UFC 236, a monumental, unanimous decision win over Kelvin Gastelum in what was one of the best title fights you or I have ever seen. One of the greatest fights of all time. And to watch Israel Adesanya go out in round five, when the fight is on the line and have his very best round of the fight, was inspiring for anyone that likes mixed martial arts. If you're a fan of a young guy like Israel, to see him do that, to earn that title, is very, very assuring as he's getting ready to go forward in his career. To achieve that goal in such a short amount of time is truly, truly unheard of. Our tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Two years apart, these two fighters, and they both possess a similar height and reach. And now to get us started, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena, in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's his first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, Mountain. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 23 wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Israel, the last style bender on a side. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's gonna be the one that's gonna control where this fight takes place? Blocks the shot. He is throwing a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeling jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. And they clinch once again. Good punch land. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Single collar tie now. Caught that. Now there's danger in that too. Because when you start reaching out to catch that kick, here comes the high kick, and then you're in a lot of trouble. Outstanding kick there by Adesanya. Big 
falls from punch land. Now we get back to range. Got the single collar tie. And they set. Oh, nice right hand. All right, so no surprise. Once again, we find ourselves here in this clinch situation. We'll see who can advance. Who's going to be the person to dictate the pressure? Who's going to control the engagement from this 50-50 position? 25 total strikes have landed for Israel out of sight. Big punch lands over the top. I was going to follow this Oh, slips and then rips him. How about the upper body movement there? Here he is back in the clinch. Under two minutes now to go round one. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Oh, collar tie. And they oh, set. That was nice, John. That was nice. What the seat down the Dig and kick. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Nice right hand. Adesanya gets in the clinch yet again. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. Oh, and he caught the kick. And they separate. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, nice combination of elbows. Yet again, they will clinch here. Oh, beautiful job by him there. Maybe the opponent was expecting the straight punch, and he goes to the hook. Mike Tyson used to have some of the best hooks in boxing, and this young man tonight is throwing him with that type of intensity. Five minutes in the books. All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lot for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. Round two is upon us. Your thoughts on round one, champ? Round one was a very close round. Both guys had their moments, but nobody has really went out ahead in the race as we go into the second round. Misses with that punch. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. The big body kick. Boy, tie plump. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice connection with the point. Right there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. When you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Very nice leg kick there by Adesanya. Determined to land as many leg kicks as he can in this fight. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Beautiful strike. Leg kick. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's got to be over very soon. Slot place kick there by Adesanya. Right hand punch to the clinch. Hook shots to the body now in the clinch by Adesanya. That knee, that knee hurt him. Leg kick land. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. <laughs> well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that 
all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Right under the elbow, body kick lands. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice slip to avoid the left. Great diversity in this attack. Nice elbow in the punch. Good punch. Such a fast leg kick. And that's the end of round number two. All right, well, good news, bad news here. Good news, round is over. Bad news, the cut on his lip, as nasty as we've ever seen in the UFC. Really, really bad. And you gotta think at some point the doctor's gonna get called in. If it's any worse than it is now, this fight is gonna be stopped. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous frame. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. And now he's got the tie clinch. Oh, elbow to the head in the clinch. That one landed flush by Adesanya. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Adesanya gets stung by that leg kick. Oh, that's a nice strike. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's gonna give his opponent some problems if that gets landed. He's having it. Wow, actually got the takedown. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes, and a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Oh, wow! Head kick. Get right here. Bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Nice kick there by Adesanya. There he goes, moves to his back. Oh, he's got his back. He's got to isolate a hip to try to break that lock. Break the lock to step number one to escape. And both guys really throwing with authority. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Nice loose punch. When he gets to the clinch, usually a takedown follow. Oh, beautiful strike there by Israel Adesanya. He's got a lifetime in the game, not a lifetime in the UFC, but you see, this is a lifelong striker who is very dangerous with all limbs. Yeah, and when you're standing with Izzy, you're in trouble, man. You're under constant attack the whole time because you never know what he's going to hit you with. And right there, he landed the strike that he was looking for. Good takedown defense by Israel. He's grabbing the back of the head. Pulling forward on the head and then landing those beautiful punches. Really has got his opponent on notice here. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in a submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. 
Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Beautifully timed and place kick there by Adesanya. His opponent's got it in the clinch. on the right hand. Now we're going. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted, he's been beaten. Right inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out. Our guys start to attack triangle. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. the speed on that reversal there. I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You got to be careful. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs. And if a person isn't very understanding of that, then you can really, really put some damage on them. Nice head kick. Nice punch there by Adesanya. Pretty nice knee there, DC. Great job oh, wow. running the opportunity to land a strike. Take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. You ready to fight? You ready. It is the fifth and final round. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. And they separate. Countering with the jab here, but he saw it coming a mile away. Nice job there to block it by Adesanya. Going orthodox now. Oh, nice punch there by Adesanya. All right, single collar tie now. Nice elbow in the clinch there up top by Adesanya. How about the volume of kicks out of this fighter tonight? And it really speaks to just how much a fighter can develop in three to five months away from the octagon. Yeah, he's doing a fantastic job of showing the evolution of his game in this kick-heavy approach. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, single collar tie here. Sonya gets absolutely punished by that head kick. And they separate. Big kick lands. Just misses with a left hook there. Real quick leg kick. Oh! Huge right hand! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! Here, DC, there's an efficiency with which he 
he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? No when to hold him. No, no when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. That is it! It's over! It's over! Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you got to show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called to stop in this contest at three minutes, 12 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Mountain. Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out cold. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout. But he was never hopeful. He was sure that he would get it done, and he did exactly that. Congrats.